Hello, my familia, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. We have something to film today, and I'm sure you already know based off the thumbnail, but today we're doing a showdown between these two. Okay, so it's, is that stupid? So I wanted to do, I've, of course, this powder is getting a lot of um, positive feedback. The Hourglass, uh, let me see, the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And then I just saw that this one, I believe this one just dropped. It's the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Invisible. It's part of their coconut line that they just brought back, but the Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. So I thought it'd be fun because I am intrigued to try both of these. So I'm like, why don't we just do another showdown and I'm gonna split my face with the two and I'm gonna see which one I like the best. Um, very briefly, um, just to go with some of the claims, they're very similar in my opinion based off the claims. Um, but however, this one is 46 bucks and let me look, it's 0.36 ounces. This one is 44 bucks, so it's two bucks cheaper, but it, this only has 20, 0.28 ounces. So, I don't know, I thought it's really not that much powder. I feel like you do get, it's only 0.2 ounces, but maybe it's the packaging too, but that fools you, but I just feel like this does not look like a lot of powder, but whatever, we're talking high-end powder, so. It is what it is. And um, as far as the claims, the Marc Jacobs is claiming to be creamy, soft matte finish, which that sounds amazing. Blurs and perfects, yes please. Up to eight hour wear, okay. I, I wish it could be a little longer, but okay, I could, I could accept that. Not dry and chalky, thank you very much. And as far as the hourglass, same thing. Light. This one though is saying it's light reflecting, invisible finish which that's awesome because I love that, you know, brightness effect and all that jazz. So that's cool. Um, it says it blurs imperfections, fine lines for an airbrush finish and it's infused with some like diamond powder, which that sounds fancy and cool. Um, really quickly too, I'll get into the packaging. This one is getting a lot of like buzz too because of the packaging. It is beautiful. This feels very, very expensive, very luxe, very bougie. Um, it does have a sifter. This is what it looks like. So you got the H for hourglass. I don't want to spill any of this, but and you have the cap so you can um, shake it and then that's what comes out. So it's very clean. It's, it hasn't been messy when I have used it, when I just used it. Um, so yeah, so that was cool. And then the Marc Jacobs packaging, it is um, a little different, but feels nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it feels as luxe as the hourglass, but it's nice. Um, the, it's plastic, plastic cap. You do get this mesh net, um, which I will get into on the demo of what I thought about that. But yeah, so that's pretty much what it looks like. You just shake it and then you use what comes out in the net. So it's, it's helping manage, I guess, the, the mess and the product that you could be wasting on that, which is good since you are paying a lot of money for this powder. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Those are the claims, so let's just get into the demo. Let's see how all these played out on my face, and let's get to the demo. Okay, so I have some of my makeup on. I have all my liquids on, so I could start getting into powders. Um, did partial eyes, so just kind of going through my normal routine, but now I am ready to do my loose powder. So I will go ahead and do Marc Jacobs on my right side, Hourglass on my left, and I'm pretty much going to set my whole face um, as I normally would. I really want to see because sometimes I like loose powders just for my under eyes. Sometimes I just like them for my my outside perimeter of my face. So I'm going to do it all and then that way I can see what I like it for or maybe I like it for all. So we will see. So I am going to do, so the Marc Jacobs is on the right. And I'm not a big baker, uh, baker's man. I love to bake but i just i don't know with my old age and the weather i just i really want to bake but i i feel like it really drives me out i mean the closest that i'll do is i will um just do like a heavy application with a brush under my eye and then like sweep it away right away but um i feel like that's kind of like the best i could get for some like a brightening effect so i'm trying to get some of this out and I guess this is how it's intended to so you're not wasting a lot of the product so I've been kind of shaking it around a little bit and I don't know if you could see some of it's coming out like through the net so I'm going to first set my under eye so 
So, I don't know if you guys could see this, but are you seeing like darkness coming through? Like I feel like my under eye is looking dark. Maybe it's the concealer, but I'm using my tart. So let me just go ahead, give it a chance. Let's just work through this. And then I'm going to uh, just lightly set it around my face. I'm gonna do like just a light set. It doesn't smell like coconut, which I honestly wish it, it did because I just like love their coconut smell. Um, or like makes me think of like Physicians Formula. But um, yeah, so I kind of, I love the coconut. And then I like to bake, like hardcore bake around my smile line and my chin, a little bit of my like nose and mustache area. So I'm gonna do that. It's definitely like finely milled, which is really cool. I mean, you can't even like, it's really undetectable. I feel like when I'm putting it in my skin. So that's, that's cool. I'm having a hard time getting this out of the container. There you go. There we go. So I'm gonna do that side of my chin. It's just like my skin is just absorbing it, which is really nice. I mean, I, I love like finely milled powders like this. And then I'm gonna do a little bake right here to try to snatch the nose a little bit. And that's it. Now let's go to the hourglass on the left. And the packaging on this is just ridiculous. So beautiful. It's like so fancy. But um, so let me. So this is like how much that came out when I did a little shaky shake. And let's let's go to town on the under eye. I think I'm liking the hourglass side better. And let me do a light set over this side of the face. And then let me get a little bit more out so I could do some baking on this side of my face. And I forgot to, I wanted to do a little bit of like reverse contouring. I always like to do that with my powder, but let me, let me go ahead. Oh shoot. I'm gonna dust this off. It feels really nice, like on your skin. Like it just feels like velvet over my face which is really cool let me go back in sorry with the with the Marc Jacobs so I could cut out my cheek a little bit I don't like their sifter on the, on the Marc Jacobs like not enough comes out so let's go and do some reverse contouring with the hourglass I definitely feel like the hourglass like it's more how do I put it like more pungent like you can like feel the pigment like when you put it on your skin like I guess this like melts more into your skin and this one does too but it just like I don't know it gives you more of that like I'm putting powder on my face and I can see it but let's see um, what it'll do after I wipe it away and I'm gonna having like a bad concealer day today, so I know that's gonna affect it. I feel like they look really similar, to be honest. Like my under eye doesn't look crazy dry. I could see it a little bit, but yeah, they look super similar. All right, so let me do, I'll just speed up if you guys wanna stay tuned. If not, I'll, um, I'll just put a timestamp of where I come back after putting the rest of my makeup on. Um, if you wanna keep watching, you can, but I'm just gonna uh, do my bronzer really quickly, do my under eye, and then I'll be back to talk about how it applied with all the other products. Okay, so makeup's on. I just did a quick little, like, I didn't want to go, like, too crazy on my makeup today because it's a pretty chill day today. But um, as far as the application with the other products, of course, it, I mean, it was awesome. Like, all the products just glided on, super effortless, love it. 
Um, I'm really trying to like be nitpicky and like see like a difference, but they look the same on me. Like I really cannot, can you tell a difference babe? I really can't tell a difference on, on which one I like more. Maybe the deciding factor is going to be uh, the longevity of the makeup and how it wears um, for the later on during the day. So I'll definitely, um, I want to do a check-in. If I don't, check the description box and I will give an update at the end of the day if I don't. But first, I definitely need to spray. I'm just doing my normal regimen like I would with any other powder. I go, I go in with the sprays. And I am more normal than dry, so you know, girl needs her spritzes. But okay, so, so far I'm really liking it. It definitely, I can see it like melting into my skin with that spray, so I'm liking it even more, both of them. So um, stay tuned and yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. I know it wasn't like anything jaw dropping. I mean, they're both great products. So, so far first impression, I think they're really good setting powders. And yeah, so I really don't think you could go wrong with either of them, but I think my final check-in is really what's going to be my deciding factor. So, so yeah, so thanks again for watching. If I don't see you guys later and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I wanted to check in with you guys. I didn't want to leave you hanging. So, um, so far we're actually headed for dinner and a movie right now. So, but as of right now, um, I'm loving them both. They look the same. Still, I'm not noticing anything crazy. Um, I've been trying to think of like more of like their claims, but I'm not really seeing like a brightening thing. I know the hourglass thing claimed that. I'm really not seeing anything as far as that goes, but I do think both sides have helped like blur like my pores and stuff. So that's been nice. Um, no fine lines yet, but I'm sure there's a good chance that could be coming later on. And yeah, and I also forgot to mention too, I do like that there is a tint of color to it. So when you do like reverse contouring or baking, I did not notice any type of cast. I do not like when uh, loose powders get that like really harsh white cast when you do that. So. Yeah, so as of right now, everything looks good and I will check back in after dinner and the movie and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. Okay, so we're back, we're done. We bowled a little bit, actually, we threw that in the mix. Had a good movie, we saw Quiet Place and we had some sushi, so that was a fun date night. And I'm here to give you my final check-in. It's almost 7 p.m. And I have some good stuff to talk about the Potter and some bad stuff, but I would say to start off with the, the positive stuff, um, I would say that it's very moisturizing. I My under eyes like do not look dry at all. My skin does not look dry. It does not look cakey. It does not look chalky at all. Um, but which is crazy though, is that I am wearing two different powders and I cannot tell, I cannot tell a difference. And it's bugging me because I really, really wanted to like one powder and like make it like a quick, easy, like they nailed it, this one was better, that one was better. Nope, it's not this time around. Like they're both beautiful powders, high-end, expensive, very, very good in quality. But um, so on the other end of the spectrum, like I'm also like, like, I don't know if you could pick it up on this, this mug, but like um, my makeup, it, it's fine, like it doesn't look bad, but like I've seen my makeup like stay more snatched for longer and with other powders and I'm not really feeling like my makeup looks that snatched anymore and it's been what like eight hours now and I'm not really feeling like blown away with the longevity of both sides of the way my makeup looks so um I don't know like I'm not I'm not like really really super happy like I mean, I hate to even bring it up, but like I'm more happy with my Cody Airspoons. I know, that's crazy to say. I think they're both really pretty powders and I do have normal to dry skin, so I'm gonna disclaim that right there. But I, um, I do think they're both really good powders and I do have normal to dry skin. So 
I didn't have a problem with my skating oily or like any the longevity of it, but I don't know what it is. Like my makeup didn't break up, but like my makeup didn't really last. And I use good products and it's products that I use all the time. So like, I don't know. I don't know. And I think I'm gonna have to play with both these powders for a little bit to kind of get a better opinion. But I just wanted you guys to kind of see um, what's going on with these two. And I will do my best to keep you guys posted in the description on how I think these are. So I was just talking to my Philatides right now about my makeup. And I was asking him, I'm like, do you see a difference? And we were looking at the old, my old video when we first left the house. And what did you say, babe? <laughs> it looks bad. Yeah, he says Weather. it looks bad. Like he's like your makeup looked way better when we first left le first left the house. So okay, for, oh, I get that. It, of course, it's gonna look better. But for him to say that, like he's normally like, oh, it looks good. It looks good. It's fine. But he notices it. Our glass of our Jacobs are out. They're out. The husband <laughs> gave them the boot. So there, there you have it.